These are some models from some of the cruises that I have been taking. So here you can see the models of three ships. One is the Carnival Dream. That one is the princess, the royal princess, which is this one that I'm showing with the Skyway. It has that flat, big, super big flat screen TV where they show the movies on the stars. And right now it's actually not painted this way, but they paint it there in the front. It has now a little princess logo. Uh, as the new boats and this is the anthem of the seas with the north star which is that capsule that kind of rotates there on the top here in the front of that ship is where you know the solarium is located and then you have here in the back the two samples the model is actually wrong with the tv apparently the tv it's actually facing sideways, not here as it is um, horizontal to the boat's layout. And uh, here is where you have those pots that stick out where the uh, little uh, bumper cars and the circ is located. In the, tra in the back of this boat, obviously you have the, like, the majority of the uh, Royal Caribbean boats you have the flow rider with the the skydiver simulation uh, part in the back and in the other side of the anthem of the seas you have the rocking the rock climbing wall with the little giraffe that it's on that side. The Carnival Dream was the first one of the Dream class, was one of the biggest before they came out with the Vista class. And um, the Royal Princess is still one of the biggest ones on the on the fleet was also the, the first one then came the regal princess and um, it's actually a good boat I, I, I like the boat it was a good layout uh, my first ruby princess was not as good and I thought this one was also not gonna be that good I was not that impressed but it was the fourth by uh, no sorry the second voyage that it was making so I think things were a little bit hectic, but then it got better. The Dream um, used to leave from New Orleans, and the Royal Princess used to be, or where I take, took it from, from, was from Fort Lauderdale, Fort Everglades. And then the Anthem of the Seas generally was stationed at Bayonne in New Jersey, and it took voyages from there, from Bayonne in the New York area. All right, just wanted to show you this uh, three cruise ships and how they look if you're planning to buy one uh, on your next uh, cruise trip. All right, have a good day, guys.